That's right, we're back to the Wally World Well of Marvel Madness. Three more seven packs, that's right. Seven comics, ten bucks. Let's dig into it. What's happening, everybody? So as you saw, I picked up a few more packs. Had to go to Wally World, get some groceries, some other household goods, and three more comic packs, Marvel packs. I did, I did dig through the DC packs, nothing new. Same packs that have been there for a while. And I was thinking, you know what? Let me grab some of the Marvel packs and I grabbed two of the other ones that I didn't have. Well, actually, I think I might have the Black Widow one. I, I forgot. But I grabbed another one of the Venom ones. I figured, what the hell? I'll do three, why not? And plus, the spine in one of these books kind of intrigued me, so I'm like, eh. So this is, this is that's why this one got the edge. So with the help of my Indigo Tribe Lantern Ring and Caramel Frappuccino, we're gonna see what we got. And I'm actually gonna start with the Rise of Ultraman pack because this will be the first Ultraman book I've ever owned and read. So I figured, let's go there. But I've seen some of the other ones. There was, what was the other one? Trials of Ultraman, I think. And so it's like, all right. But again, also like this plastic is a hell of a lot of sturdier. So I think like all the packs from the other packs that I got, they've all been uh, pretty like protected. So haven't seen much damage. So what do we, ah, oh, God damn it. Uh, well, I'll start with this one. This is cool. So we got Black Knight, Curse of Ebony Blade. Already have that one. But the other pack back there was my Widow, Widow Stain, that same cover. I think this is the Ron Lim one. Ron Lim's on a lot of variants lately. I think I'll probably start with this one. Uh, at least, especially with the Walmart books, which I, I, I don't know, it's like, how'd that work out? It's like, hey, Ryan, want to do a bunch of variants? He's probably like, yes, why not? I'll do it. Uh, get to exercise his craft, get another check, and provide something for the collector. So, so again, if you haven't seen this one for the millionth time, there's that. Let's kind of organize myself here. Uh, books everywhere. Next up. I do not have this one. Who did this cover? Oh, well, we got Spider-Man Velocity number five from the Game Reverse. So you see the costume is based off the, uh, is that the, called the Velocity suit? Maybe it is from the uh, Spider-Man PS4 game. And then this is, I don't have this book actually. So I like this. This is one of the Immortal variants, uh, Jane Foster Valkyrie. Where's the Valkyrie Jane Foster? I don't know, number three and then so just kind of her transition. So Jane Foster to Thor. I'm trying to open this up all the way. Jane Foster to Thor to her as Valkyrie. Jane Foster has had one hell of a character arc and journey because she has been busy within the pages of Marvel Comics since her creation, I guess, her debut. And just her travels and Thor, all that. Regular Marvel Universe stuff. Thor, cancer, being a Valkyrie, and everything else, she has gone through it. So for all the Jane Foster fans out there, that is definitely a character that I'm pretty sure they hold near and dear, and they're glad that she's gotten the attention she has, especially with Thor and Valkyrie, just kind of uh, just adding to her backstory and just doing everything there. So yeah, oh man, this is a thick book too. Uh, Rise of Ultraman, what does it say there? Oh, just Ultraman, Rise of Ultraman. Number one, this is, trying not to look at the next book. What was this? This was, oh, this is a $6 book, so. They had a couple things in there, maybe. Nothing too crazy. Next book is, what is this? New Mutants number eight. I don't know, if, I feel like, I know I have this series, this issue, but I don't remember this cover. But I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Oh, this is nice. I don't know if I have this cover. I know I have this series. We got Patsy Walker, AKA Hellcat number 10. This is, it says Defenders. So this is a variant. Who did this, what is this? I don't know who did this cover. Where are we at? That's not the, so Joyce Chen and Frank the Armada maybe? Cause this is a variant, so. But that is cool. I like that. And I'm always down to give Hellcat some love around here. Patsy Walker. Yeah, that's cool. So I actually picked up, backstory, I picked up most of this run, I think it was 17 issue run, at a garage sale, was it last year, the year before? I think it was two years ago. And I just came across this garage sale on either Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and I was able to pick up all but one or two issues of this run, so that's cool, I like that. All right, next up we're going to 
Black Widow pack again because you all want to see that book, which is again just a one shot. And you just try to push it out for, even though she has another series going. going <clears throat> I think they just try to push that out for the movie just to kind of boost it up. It wasn't really that great of a read, to be honest. Because I, I had it pre ordered, so. And I forgot what cover I had picked up, but who knows. So again, let's see what we got. Oh, uh, Amazing Spider Man 62. I already copied that. I think this is. I don't know if this. This might be the variant that they put in the packs. I'm trying to remember. Oh, and then X Men 1. I already have that. Several copies of, or several of those variants anyway. But. Do I have. Yeah, I do have that one. Kind of manhandling these books here unintentionally. Like, we had already. Ooh. That is nice. So I don't even bother showing off the Black Widow book, but I will show this one off because hot damn. Uh, Adam Hughes, who's magnificent, of course. Gwen Stacy, number one. Now I don't even have any of this series, but look at this fucking cover. Hot damn, Adam. Tone down the talent. No, I'm lying, keep it going. Don't ever stop. <laughs> don't ever stop what you're doing. Oh man, that's cool. Christos Gage, Todd Nock, and uh, Rochelle Rosenberg. I'm not the biggest fan of Todd Nock, but I don't remember the last time I actually saw something sequential from him. So maybe kind of seeing it in flow when I read this book, which I will obviously will read, maybe might kind of get me into, it kind of open me up to his, like, his art and storytelling ability. So I look forward to kind of checking that out. Plus it's Gwen Stacy, so. But yeah, look at that, that's a gem. That's cool, I like that. Ooh, this is nice too. Who did this? Wait a second. Hot damn. Uh, X Men Fantastic. What was it called? Four X. X Men Fantastic Four. X Four. I don't know. Number two variants. I want to like something about this looks familiar, but I don't know who did this offhand. I need to find the credits. Where are you at? Sweet goodness. Oh, was this Mark Brooks? What else is this? There's several, uh, this might be Megan Hetrick. I don't know, but that is nice. Those are two, that's two cool books right there, I dig. Two cool variants. All right, on to the X-Men pack. Keep this comic train rolling. These are some nice books here. I'm looking forward to reading, especially that Gwen Stacy, curious. See some, uh, see some of Todd Knox storytelling, visual storytelling abilities. So X-Men number one, Lenell Francis Yu and Jerry Alangalan, rest in peace. <clears throat> Got a couple of those. I kind of, what I was thinking the other day was, I was thinking about some of the X-Men number ones. It's like, you know what? Obviously besides the very first X-Men number one, which I don't have, and who knows when I'll ever get that. But I was like, I should frame, cop, like have extras of all the X-Men number ones and X-Men number ones and Uncanny X-Men number ones and frame those. It'd be like a wall of X, that'd be dope. You got some Scotty Young, oh my goodness. Dr. Doom playing with his action figures variant here for Secret Wars number number one. So he's got Thor, was it Doom, 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 Doom. Got a gigantic Sentinel, an Iron Man, Punisher, Cyclops down there, Wolverine, a Hawk. Scotty Young, I dig it. That's kind of cute. Throwback to it. When you're young and didn't have to worry about jobs and bills, and just sit around and play with your toys all day, which is fantastic. <sighs> oh, this is, this is a second printing, but it's a cool cover. I like the colors there, of course, representing for the people. Black Panther number three, black, green, and red there, as you do. I dig that one. Now again, I really don't care so much for second printings, but because it's Black Panther and uh, you got the colors of the flag there, I absolutely dig that. Last pack, the trifecta. We got Venom again. I think I have three copies of that now. Again, I was thinking like I was gonna get those two, and I was like, eh, let me just check out the spines on these Venom books just for the hell of it. Why not? We'll do three. And the only reason I'm recording this right now because I forgot I meant to do this, say this in the beginning, but it is a lovely Saturday morning, and I'm trying to do all this because I'm gonna record this now before the, uh, the games have already started today, college football games, but I'm gonna be in my comic room doing some organizing and I'm gonna get all of these out and like 
put in my inventory before I do all that. So I'll be watching games while I'm doing that. So I'm doing some organizing, all that cool stuff. <coughs> Another copy of this. Screen, King in Black, number one. And another silk. <laughs> I got like four or five copies of that. And the screen too. That's wild. Who needs a screen? Who needs a silk? Who wants to read those? Let's see. That was kind of reckless, not gonna lie. So yeah, this like something about the way they're packaged, like you don't have to worry about the spine ticks in there. So again, Venom 25, unless you just returned to Earth from wherever you were. Ooh, I don't have this one. We got Generation X Lenticular with, I don't know what this other series, or what this other series, Generation X, so I guess it's Legacy. Generation X, number 85. Okay. But, my man Chris Bacalo is on that, the original, wait, no. Yeah. Let me see, does it have, yeah. Uh, Generation X, 1994, Chris Bacalo and Mark Buckingham. Harvey Talabal and Chris Sotomayor on the uh, lenticular. And then we got Deadpool number seven versus Conan. Variant there. Versus, so Conan versus variant there. When was this? This must have been, oh yeah, it was a couple years ago. Scotty Young, Nick Klein, Jeff Eckleberry. Okay. And on to the last pack, we got Silk. The last three books. So again, seven packs, seven for 10 bucks. I wonder when the DC new stuff is gonna pop up. So I've been seeing uh, some other people's videos and they've been finding them with the masks, four packs with the masks. But a lot of people have been finding those Batman, what is it, Batman Fortnite zero point books or whatever. So I'm thinking that's a hell of an inventory dump. So when they, even when they do show up, I'm not even sure I want to get those. Just because I don't wanna buy those packs and end up with whatever fucking Fortnite bullshit that they're trying to uh, force in there. So I'll just skip those. That's a guaranteed way to save some money. Throw some Fortnite in there. I'll skip that completely. So again, there's Silk. Oh, this is cool. I think some people have shown this one. I might have this one anyway. I might have the variant for this one, actually. Uh, Nick Bradshaw cover four. Fantastic four, number 24. What was it, Nexus? What is it? Yeah, Nexus. Nexus War Thor, it's a backup story. Special bonus story included, Donnie Cates and Greg Land. Oh, I just saw the, the last book by accident, didn't mean to. What the hell is Nexus War? I don't know, last book. So we got Spider-Woman, number five, uh, Alex Ross, Timeless Variants again. But this one has a bit of a tear up there. That's not cool. Is it, or is that part of the, like the, in the hair, I can't tell, I can kind of feel it. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit of a tear. But another Spider Woman. So I have three of those now. So, yeah, that's everything we got. Three, seven packs. Oh, man, some cool stuff. Lots of cool books in there. A couple, several duplicates. Man, that uh, Adam Hughes, Gwen Stacy book. Fantastic. That's cool. The cover is obviously dope, but looking forward to reading that one. This one, because that's a cool cover as well. And I'll read the Ultraman one because I'm curious. I'm curious about that. And since I have that now, let's see. A couple of the duplicates, some other uh, decent standard variants. Oh, that this one as well. This is a nice pull because I didn't have this one. But I do have the series, just not this variant. For uh, Jane Foster Valkyrie, Terry Man Velocity, now the Black Knight, a couple of Black Widow. Oh, and Hellcat, of course. But yeah, quick little recap of some of the cooler books in this set but yeah so that's that for this again these are just hella fun to do i like doing them just seeing kind of cool books like pack in there and even though there are a couple repeats i'm okay with that but it's like value wise seven books ten bucks can't beat that with a bat actually you can even more like throwing ten books why not ten books ten dollars yeah ten books ten dollars great deal but yes plenty of cool stuff again if you're looking to just pick up some reading material just kind of wide wide ranging, a little bit spread across several like titles and including creators and teams and characters. This is a great way to do that. Like a gift for people that you know that are comic fans. Obviously if you're watching this, you're a comic fan, but that's something to get for maybe like a kid perhaps, who knows, or just a friend. 
that you know might want to get into comics, or if you're trying to convince somebody to get into comics, a great way to do that, buy some of these mystery packs. And they're just fun to do. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. If you're still picking these up, if you picked up any of the DC ones with the mask, and you found a lot of those Fortnite zero point books, whatever they're called, let me know. And do you plan on dipping into those? Do you like the idea of these seven packs for 10 bucks? Share all your thoughts in the comments below. This is uh, Happy Read and Happy Hunts, Happy Collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.